You know, we like to think of Vermont as this unique place. And while it is special, the reality is that these days, politically and economically, it is just like everywhere else, including, sadly, Wisconsin. Tax policy in Vermont is currently designed to benefit big business, big corporations, and the wealthy at the expense of workers, unions, education, our communities, and our environment. We have low-wage, non-unionized jobs, declining and stagnant wages, tax cuts that only benefit the wealthy, and growing inequality just like everywhere else. Our unions are under attack, just like in Wisconsin. I heard Governor Shumlin say yesterday that we would probably compare him to Scott Walker at our rally today. Well, if the shoe fits. In fact, just yesterday, the Shumlin administration sent the VSEA a letter officially proposing that state employees balance the budget out of their hard-earned paychecks. Boom. We have heard the governor say over and over that he will not tax hard-working Vermonters. Um, excuse me, Governor, but what am I? What are we? VSEA's revenue plan proposes to increase taxes on the wealthiest Vermonters who have seen some pretty good economic growth while ours has declined. Again, I remind Governor Shumlin that we are hardworking Vermonters too. And we are here to send him, we are here to send him and all of our representatives the message that we are taxpayers and we vote and we are not going to take it anymore. Stop the cuts and raise revenue already! The Shumlin administration's proposed cuts to public services and education won't just impact state workers and teachers, it will impact all Vermonters. Everyone gets public services. The cuts will impact us, hardworking Vermonters, for years to come. And the reality is, is that if we don't do something different, we will back, be back here again, confronting the same give back demands in the new budget year. I want to personally acknowledge the 43 legislators who stood with us and voted to raise taxes on the wealthiest Vermonters. We thank you, give it up for that. We need to elect more lawmakers like them who are willing to stand up for Vermonters. Let's put the represent back in representatives. Today, the legislature has failed to produce a budget that meets the needs of Vermonters. And we stand here today facing cruel and devastating cuts to heating assistance for low-income families, programs that benefit disabled, blind and elderly, cuts to our public libraries, our 911 emergency dispatch centers, funding for our vets home and community high schools of Vermont, and the closure of courthouses and a prison, and anti-union legislation. Then there's the cuts that the governor is asking state employees to take to clean up a mess that we did not create. 